What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, after we have placed all the plumbing fixtures from previous exercise, we are now ready to create our sanitary system. Okay, so let's create a sanitary system. So as you can see here on our project browser, or I mean system browser, so we don't have any system on our piping. So all of these plumbing fixtures are in the unassigned system. So that's why if I click this, as you can see, this highlights. So meaning to say this plumbing fixture is an assigned element system. Okay, you see? So it's there. So it's there on the domestic cold water and then on the sanitary. Okay, so the reason why it highlights the sanitary and then the domestic cold water, it's because this urinal, it contains a connector for domestic cold water and sanitary so that's why urinal is present on sanitary and domestic cold water system okay but right now so there is no proper system so that's why all of this plumbing fixture are still under an assigned system so we are now going to create a system and then after that you will notice these elements will now be placed under the piping system once we create the system okay so let's do this so what we are going to do is let's select all of the plumbing fixture so we can use window selection like that and then let's filter it so let's click the filter and then let's uncheck the lines we don't like that or we don't need that i only need the plumbing fixtures so make sure you check the plumbing fixtures and then select here okay all right, and then after that, you see there is a create systems here. Okay, so let's create a system. So let's click that one. And then you see the system that we will be creating here is sanitary. So if you click the drop down arrow, you can also create other type of system. But for now, we just need a sanitary here. And then I'm going to call this, uh, let's say, sanitary 107 because that room is room 107. Okay, so let's do that one. Change the name Sanitary 107. Okay, and then after that, just select here. Okay. And there you go. You see now, we now have one system on our piping, which is the system that we just created. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the selection color because as you can see, if I hover my pointer, the color is blue and then if I click that to select the color is also blue so I don't like that so just to customize I'll go to the file and then I go to the options and then I go to colors okay so I'll change here the selection so instead of blue so I'll change that to red so if I select the object it becomes red pre-selection so that means when you hover your pointer over an element it will becomes blue so I don't like that. So I want that green. And then I'll select OK. All right. So red and green. All right. So I'll select OK. So if I move my pointer over, you see it's green, right? So if I click that to select, so it becomes red. So that's what I want. Okay. So green for highlight and then red for selection. Alright, so after we create now the system, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to generate now the layout. So I'm going to show you how to create a physical connection automatically and manually. Okay, so how to do that? Okay, just select one of the plumbing fixture that is included to our uh, sanitary 107 system. Okay. So let's click one, let's say this uh, urina. So let's click that one. And then you see here from the layout panel, so there's a generate layout. All right, so let's click that one. Okay, so as you can see, we are now on the generate layout tab. And then after that, you can see here the preview of the layout that you are about to create. Blue lines represents the main pipe. Okay, the green lines represents the branch pipe. So if you are doing mechanical and then you're doing a uh, mechanical ducting, so the blue line represent the main duct. And then the green lines represent the branch duct. Okay? So 
in our case right now so that is the blue is our main pipe the green is our branch pipe okay so uh, one thing that you can also notice here is that you can specify the solution type that you are going to create so we have three types of solution network which has uh, six solution so you can specify there just preview it click the arrow and then you also have here perimeter you have five solution for the perimeter just click that and then you also have intersection so intersection i have four solutions so before i use any of the solution here what i'm gonna do is i'm going to establish the base okay so what is the base you see there's a base here this one place base so the base creates a vertical pipe for the system to connect into and establishes a source or an outlet for flow so it's like a riser so basically it's a riser or vertical pipe okay so where do you want to place your vertical pipe your source or outlet for flow so just click that one and then after that there's already a guide here there's a guideline so i'm just gonna place it here there you go so it's now there and i'm going to specify here the offset okay so for the offset i'm gonna change that to uh, minus four feet minus four feet so the pipe will go down minus four feet so the elevation of the base with relation to the other components in the system is critical. So the elevation is specified low enough, uh, minus 4 feet, to allow sloping of the other or of the sa sanitary piping in the system. Okay? And the diameter, let me change this to, let's say, just 4 inches. Okay? So we have an offset of minus 4 feet. So our pipe will go down minus 4 feet and then we have a diameter of 4 inches okay so as you can see this minus 4 feet here the elevation is specified low enough to allow sloping of the sanitary piping in the system so we needed that slope okay so what else so after we specify the offset and then diameter let's go to the solutions click solutions and then i'll be using intersection solution okay so let's use intersection solution here but instead of one of seven i'm going to use two of seven like that and then i'm going to put a slope here positive value uh one eighth of an inch over uh 12 inches so the positive value slopes the pipe down toward the base point so it will go down so the slope is to this direction going down to our base there okay so the slope is going down so the value of the slope is one eighth of an inch over 12 inches so another thing that we can do here is to modify the settings before we finish the layout so let us uh, settings let's go to the settings so let's modify the main pipe the blue line main so instead of four feet so let me just make it one foot okay and i also want to change the branch pipe to minus one foot all right and then i'll select here okay that's it and as you can see our lines here or the pipe that we will be creating is within the wall it will touch the wall so that's why i'm going to edit that layout so edit layout and then let's grab or let's click that line the blue line and then you see there's a four direction arrow there so you hold your left click and then just drag that drag until it straights up like this there you go okay and then let us still modify this let's go to the 3d view so i'm going to select the 3d okay and then i'm just going to zoom in okay let's zoom in there so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to edit again the layout edit layout okay so let's click this line here and then let's click that four direction arrow and then let us drag that and then align it there 
there you go so it looks like that so we're going to do that also to the other line here so click that and then drag that for direction and then just drag that until it becomes like that oops like that okay i think i can open the 3d plumbing here double click all right so that's it so that's how it looks like all right that one okay so once we're done so we can now select finish layout let's click that and there you go okay so as you can see if i if i go to the left view you see there's a slope here so you click that you see there's a slope going to that direction going down going down here and then if i check the properties of that so it's about uh minus one foot so the elevation of this uh pipe here which we specified a while ago for the main pipe and branch pipe and then there's the slope and another thing you can also check the fittings here the t fittings so right now the t fittings here is correct so it's like from here and then it will go to that side you see that t fittings but if ever the direction of your t fitting is t fitting is wrong you can click that arrow there to flip to make it like that but that's the wrong direction so that's why i just click like this all right there you go actually you can also change this one but again this is the correct direction but just to show you you see there's there's a error if you click that flip so we don't want to do disconnect that so let's just undo it there you go okay and then you can also highlight your connection okay so if you want to highlight you just need to press your tab four times okay so you hover first your pointer to one of the plumbing fixture like here do not click just hover and then press tab if you press tab once so it will highlight the branch in a network you see it branch in a network so if you press the tab second time you see it highlights also the t fittings so it will highlight the branch in a network including the branch object which is the t fittings so if i press the tab once again so it will now highlight the branch in a network up to a piece of equipment and then if you press the tab again there you go so it will highlight the whole network and then you can now select by clicking it so it's now selected and then you can see here the system name sanitary 107 so if you click one of the fixture you can also see here that the system classification here is domestic water and sanitary because it contains two connectors one connector for cold water and then one connector for sanitary and then you see here the system type is sanitary so that's the sanitary symbol there and then the system name is sanitary 107 okay so same with other uh, plumbing fixtures right okay Alright, so that's it for this uh, simple exercise. On our next video, I'm going to show you how to add sinks to the sanitary system. So we are going to add additional uh, plumbing fixture here. So let's say for on this side, I'm going to add three sinks. Okay, that is what we're going to do in our next exercise. We're going to do it manually. Alright, so hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.